These are the two German dolls that are going to be offered for auction on May 19th at 9.30 a.m. Uh, I thought I'd try putting these on YouTube so interested buyers could get a closer look at them. This one here is the better doll. I'm going to get in closer to the face here. Now on this doll you can see how dirty the face is. I'm going to shine a flashlight here. The right eye here has a small bubble in it right there. I don't know if that's going to show up on there or not. Um, you can see the dirt on the face. I do not see any cracks of any sort on the doll. The hair is very loose, as you can see. That's the top of the head, and you can see the hair is just barely hanging on. There is a bow in the hair that way. Um, the teeth look fine. Here, I cannot take the dress off because it is sewn onto her. Here's one of the hands. Okay. Here is the other hand. You can see the condition on it. I'm actually surprised that all the fingers are still there considering where I found them. Alright. Um, we'll come down here to the legs. It has a wood body, and you can see the, um, the knees have dimples in them. Okay, there's the joints for the legs, and like I said, I can't get the clothes off. But I did feel around, and it doesn't feel like any, anything is missing under the body. I'll turn this one over and show you the, the back of it. You have to pardon my amateur videotaping here. Okay, I'm going to try to do this carefully with one hand. Okay. Here's the back of the doll. Here's the hands again. And this hand. Here is the back of the head. The markings on it are way down here. It's, it's really hard to see because you have to pull down on the collar. But it is marked 46 and then way below that, way down in here is an X. And this doll is a bisque head, it has a socket head, but I don't see any cracks or breaks in the head. The body, of course, you know, has some wear and tear to it. Okay, I'm going to turn this one back over. So this is the good doll, as I'm calling it. Now we'll move over here to the bad doll that's in really bad shape. Um, these are the clothes. I was able to take the clothes off of this one and they're identical dolls. If you notice the dolls, the dresses are identical. And this one is the same kind of a doll. It's marked on the back here 46 and right there is the X. Right here. 46 X. But it's missing part of an arm this is pretty rough over here. The leg has come off here. The feet under these socks feel intact. That is the condition of this one. Now you can, I notice there's a hole here in the top of the head. You can kind of lift that up and look down inside. And by doing so, I saw that the eyeballs are still inside there. Like I said, pardon my amateur video. Can't really get done in there too well, but the eyeballs are in there. Um, if I hold it up, they're going to fall back inside, so I'm going to try to angle it this way. Okay. So the eyeballs are in there. Okay. And the teeth. And that's what the face looks like on this one. Actually, it's the face is okay. I don't see any cracks or breaks or anything like that. Now what happens when I turn this one over, you'll see the eyeballs are going to fall back in. Maybe not. Made a liar out of me. <laughs> well, when I first got it, the eyeballs are, were way back down inside of it, though. So they are not intact. And obviously this one has 
no hair. That's the top of the head. Here's the arm and hand on this one. And the front of the body. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm actually surprised that the eyes came back in on this one here. So both of these dolls will be sold separately on May 19th under Kathleen M. Mack Auctions. Thank you very much.